The Constitutional Chamber of the Supreme Court ruled that the decision by the General National Congress is unconstitutional. It ends weeks of political deadlock. Libya's Supreme Court declares Ahmed Maitig's appointment as Prime Minister unconstitutional. It was not open to appeal and Maitig issued a short statement that he will stand by the decision. I will abide by the court's verdict and I will respect its ruling. What happened today is one of the most important achievements in the state of law and institutions that we all aspire to. The parliamentary body that had appointed him in a controversial vote, the General National Congress, also declared they would respect the rule of law. And it's now up to them to decide how to move forward. The GNC will hold a session where a Prime Minister will be elected. It can either be Ahmed Matik, but under the current political divide, getting the 120 votes needed will be very difficult. Or they can extend the term of caretaker Prime Minister Abdullah Tini. Alternatively, they can vote for someone new altogether. Maitig's election split this country. There are many who oppose the appointment and wanted the outgoing Prime Minister Abdullah Thani to stay in power. Retired General Khalifa Haftar, who has launched an operation against what he calls terrorists, also backed Thine and labelled Maitig and the GNC as illegitimate. It was causing a dangerous reality on the ground, with various armed groups backing their choice for Prime Minister. It's a rare positive sign that all sides seem to be abiding by the rule of law, and it comes at a crucial time. Elections are due to be held here in just over two weeks. Libyans want a strong leader who can integrate the many armed militias into an army and a police force, someone who doesn't take sides and who puts the safety of Libyans above anything else. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.